everybody, DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farm Up News Lane. Today, we got 22 PC mods of testing. We got nine console mods of testing. Giant Software have job openings around the world. Kazarius Modding shows up progress on their Case IH MX series. A Dub Modding put a roller on it. CMT Software are updating their Fent 900. I drove a truck yesterday. It's awesome. Black Eyes Modding have a new partnership. Custom Modding are making a larger tanker trailer. Meyer Family Modding have a new tandem bell trailer. Vertex Design have made a new mod and it looks real. Missy B flies around a new map. Plus, Oxygen David shows up up as new lighting 3.0. Let's check it out. It tests a 4 PC. We have the 3 point gooseneck receiver hitch, a tidier shop, Bergman TSW 7340S, Challenger MT 600D series, Challenger MT 700 series, Double Door Garage, Fumotech Alligator 130, Forest Prowler, Gatehead Farm, Lizard 432060 ACV ATZ, goodness, Lizard D83, Massey Ferguson 7370 Brazil, Meyer Recordia 18500, Multi Hitch. New Holland 8030 Brazil, New Holland T8 US, Revoke, Remy 9500, The Northern Coast Farming Agency Edition, Euro 432060 UST 5453, Wideman Ehop Pack, and Weight Station. It has the four consoles. We have the Agrimax SM3, Deggy Loop Feline 11, FLT, Gorick Belfork Pack, Hauer Front Loader Pack, Lizard SA2074, Lizard TVT35, Multipurpose Warehouse, and Random Bit stream short bulk carrier random. With all that being said, we still have 84 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time for newly submitted mods is 5 work days. Have you ever wanted to work in the gaming industry? How about a job at Giant Software, the creators of Farming Simulator? Well, Giant Software has 7 positions open at this time all around the world, 2 in the United States and Chicago, 3 in Germany, and 2 in Switzerland. They are currently hiring a community coordinator and customer support rep here in the United States, as well as a graphic design intern, web developer, and game QA analyst in Germany, and two senior software engineers in Switzerland. If this sounds like something that you would be interested in, then check out the link below and check out the requirements and job descriptions more in detail. Who knows, one of you might become the new community coordinator for Giants in the United States. That's awesome. Today we check in with Kazarius Modding and the progress on their Case IH MX series, which is being made for all platforms at this time. They say that the base model of the tractor is complete and the configurations and other things like that will be added once the tractor is in game. In addition to that, they'll be making a US version and EU version so players from all around the world can enjoy the mod on their map of choice regardless of what it is once this mod is released. They're still quite early in the modding process, but progress is moving quite quickly, so look forward to this one. A Dub Modding says, Oof, teaser, my favorite. The Massey Ferguson WR9870 self propelled mower is looking good. Is that a swath roller built into the back? Heck yeah, man. CMT Software shows off the upcoming update to their Fit 900 Vario TMS, which is a work in progress at this time. They say that there will be an optional work light and it will support the added realism for vehicle mod and support realistic cab view mod, both of which are PC only mods. Regardless of that, this update will be available for all platforms. I want to give a very special thank you to Raleigh Christie One and Vanquish081 for allowing me permission to show off their upcoming VS Truck PT600 semi truck, which is based on the Peterbilt 587. If you haven't seen that video yet, it was released later yesterday afternoon. It show off all current customization plus gameplay and sounds of this truck. Go check it out if you haven't already. I also want to thank 82 Studio, aka David, for helping get me permission to show the truck off to you guys early. If it wasn't for him, that video wouldn't have even happened. So, a huge special thank you to David. Black Eyes Modding have a new collaboration, this time with Flea Drago Bruno E. Guy Agriculture, I think I said that right, who specialize in ground processing equipment like subsoilers, cultivators, that kind of thing. These are the same modders that brought you Ishia Farm and the three-reeled ape truck that was released last week. I'm excited to see what these guys do with this. Custom Modding says, if you think the cone bottom trailer is too small, well, then we have a solution for you soon. Nothing else was said, but I think it's pretty obvious what they've got up their sleeve. You see that tinker in the background, the, the chrome one? Well, if you look really closely, there's a hose connected to it, the John Deere 4940 self-propelled sprayer in the front which is actually really cool because there aren't many American-style semi-truck tanker trailers in-game. Not only that, 
but I can't think of any that are on Mod Hub that work with the hose mod either, so that's pretty cool too. It wasn't said, but I imagine we'll see this tanker for all platforms, and like was said, there's no official information available on this mod, at least at the time of recording, so we'll just have to wait and see what custom modding have up their sleeve. Do you guys remember the Wilson Paysetter Super B trailer mod that was released about a year ago? The one that has the front section that attaches like a dolly. Well, Meyer family must know because they're working on a project very similar to that. There's no name nor branding, but a tandem bell trailer is something that is missing from Mod Hub. So it's something that is welcome with open arms. This is a work in progress. No platform information is known at this time since it is super early in the stages of creation. Vertex Design says it's time for a mod preview. Red Phoenix has recreated the Ray Bluebird on his own initiative and it looks absolutely stunning. Guys, this looks real. I had to do a double take and I'm still not sure if this is a render or a real life pick. In addition to that, there's lots of configurations and features to this mod, including bending tools, tooth packer, single or double roll cage, lighting and warning boards, two decal variants, an older version from around 2008, and a current new one. And in addition, there's also side limiting plates. At the moment, this mod is console ready, so it could be released on all platforms once finished. Vertex Design makes some of the best, most realistic mods out there. This mod is no different. Missy B has posted two new videos on her YouTube channel showing off her upcoming map, Wither Farms. One showing off the map from the ground with her driving around the map showing each location, and the other with an aerial view, which we're seeing now, where you get to see the entire map. It's a super open map with quite a few massive fields. If arable farming is your thing, you are going to be in heaven. And if you like to do animals, hey, she got you covered there too. Check out both these videos at our YouTube channel, which is linked below. And lastly today, Oxygen David shows off his new Lighting 3.0 on Chellington Valley, his most recently released map. He has tweaked the lighting and textures of everything to make colors more vibrant and the sky less washed out. This was especially an issue when using Seasons, which makes the game look very meh at best during winter and early spring. Just is what it is. If you played on Sandy Bay or Stone Valley, then you've played with his lighting engine beforehand, I think it was 1 or 2.0, but this will be a more in-depth and vibrant version of that. Can't wait to see this and to be on this map and witness it for myself. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released, except for the uh, rolling pack this Saturday. Check that out. If I didn't talk about anything that you're interested in, that just means that there's no new information on those topics at the time of recording, which is super early in the morning on Tuesday. Please refer to previous episodes for the most current status of those projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the Go Ham fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. All being said, I hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace! Yo, what is the most stereotypical DJ Goham look? Is this it? feel like this is it.